<laughs> I'll tell you what, if smallmouth were currency, I'd be on Forbes. Is that too much gloating? Uh, I think that's too much gloating. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, ladies. First bass of the day on the watermelon red fleck tube jig. Just got to get them up this big cliff here, and we're golden. Up we go. Nice little chunker. Very cool. Had to work for him, but that's okay. <laughs> I snagged it and then unsnagged it, and then this guy hit it right when I unsnagged it. That's funny. This one's just six pound test, this rod, so I gotta be a little more careful when I'm flipping these bad boys, even though they're not that big yet. Hopefully we'll get into some better size over the course of the day. So I'm just switching back and forth between a, a tube jig and a mini Kytec. This guy, this guy and the last guy hit on the mini Kytec. Another little bass, that's cool. These guys fight so hard for their size, man. Up we go, baby. Hopefully we'll get into some nicer ones later. That one's all torn up on the fin, funny. Happened again, I got snagged, got unsnagged, and then I got bit. I just lost one that was probably about 15 inches, which is not a big deal, but it's sad because it's kind of slow today and I'm trying to catch enough to make a video. Yeah, he, this guy is just dogging it, holy cow. Come on up, dingus. He's a golden one. <laughs> yeah, the one I just lost was significantly bigger. <laughs> Another small guy. Hoping to get into some bigger ones by the end of the day, but we'll see what happens. Lots of 12 inches. Interesting. 12, maybe bigger one might have been 13. But yeah. Yeah, it's a 12, 13 little one. There we go, baby. Switch back to the tube jig. First cast got something. I don't know what it is. Probably a bass. These bass are hot on these tubes. Springtime, summertime, fall time. Excellent choice for smallmouth. Come here, Dingus. Might be a little bigger. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Finally, we're hitting some uh, small mediums. Nice quality 15 incher. I got a feeling about this spot right here. Yep, thought so. Boom. So, uh, I met a fan, and then I lost two beauties in a row. One from a crooked hook from getting it all snagged up and the other one for who knows what reason. Try and flip them up here. I just retied my line so I should be able to not break them off. Cool. One of the better ones so far. I'll take a dozen of these please. There you go. There we go. Switched over to the Kytec again. I gotta be careful with this one, it's on six pound test. So I gotta be careful when I'm flipping these bad boys, but they're sitting by that brush pile that no one's fished in a long time because you have to cross a little river channel to get to it. Another beautiful little 14, 15 incher. <laughs> this dingus walleye hit right next to me. And look at that, it is a, oops. It is a keeper, but but uh, I'm going to end up letting him go, though. I don't need to keep him on the purple Kytec. Here you go, bud. There we go. 
hopping spots and uh, doodling a three and a half tube jig. Trying to back up without slipping on my, my behind. <laughs> Please stay hooked. I've been having problems with fish staying hooked today big time. That's what you get for using tube jigs though. I'm going to try and beach them here. Try being the operative word. <laughs> I'm going to keep hopping spots for the remainder of the evening. Doesn't feel like he's 12 inches, I can tell you that much. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's decent. Best one of the day so far. Alright, moment of truth. And he's beached. He's a decent one. Not a big one, but I will definitely take it. It's the best one of the day so far. I might have a big one on. I don't know. He started taking drag. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Stay hooked, baby. I'm just using these cheap Bass Pro Shop hooks. So I'm losing some fish and it's really really bothering me. I gotta get some better hooks. Please stay hooked. You looked like a nice one. Like a master class maybe. Master class or the dream. I think I'm up to like 116 master class smallmouths. Something like that. Gotta just carefully beach this guy. Almost there. Thank goodness for eight pound test baby. He is dogging it hard. Holy cow. Lol. How big is he? Is he really big or is he just a 17? Please be 18 plus. Oh yeah. She's big. She's huge. No, she's not huge, but she's big. She's definitely big. <laughs> oh, look at the belly on that thing. Oh, that's a big smallmouth right there. That's 18 plus for sure. Not enormous, it's not a trophy, but it is a big one, I think, barely. I'll get a measure on her quick and release her. My first Master Smallie of the year. She is, come on, come on girl, you can go. 18 and a half inches. So the equipment I use today are two six foot six inch medium power fast action rods with Fluger Presidents. One has six pound mono and the other one has eight. Main lures I've been bopping around are a small Kai-Tec and a three and a half inch tube jig.